What up, everybody? I wanted to show this perfect ash because it's perfect. Have you guys ever had an ash so perfect that you just you couldn't stop staring at it? That's this guy right here. Let me see if I can. All right, it's kind of bright. The live setting is always way too bright. But check this out. It's perfect. You kind of have to smoke it like this so that it <laughs> doesn't fall on me. I'm going to milk this thing and see how far we can, uh, how far down we can go. And then we are going to, um, yeah, I'll answer some questions if you want. But uh, this is a mystery cigar from Pete for, for Pete's sake, have a cigar. Whatever it is, I mean, it's perfect. I mean, perfect in just about every way. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a Cuban of some kind, but the ash is pretty white, so... That makes me think it's not a Cuban. Hmm. What do you guys think? What do you think this thing is? He gave me the uh, the cigar band is in here, so I have to figure it out. <laughs> I want to see how long I can milk it. <laughs> have you seen those competitions? Are they just like they, they? You know, the longest ash competition where they're all doing this. <laughs> That's me right now. <laughs> Uh, uh, who's out there? I see one person. Who's watching? Oh, I should have grabbed a drink. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda, woulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda, woulda, coulda. Can I get some likes, some comments? Let's get the show started. creamy okay who's out there right now oh we got two people watching I'm milking the perfect ash it's so perfect I don't want it to I just I can't I can't let it fall I can't I'm gonna take a picture of this thing. Let me see here. Grab the iPad. Oh, someone's, oh, I got a thumbs up. Okay, let's see here. Taking pictures of ashes. That's how you know you're a cigar geek. Uh, Instagram that, bro. Who's out there? We got two people? Two peeps. Uh, I think I gotta take a photo of this. This is good. It's just too perfect. Oh. 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 Oh, that picture sucks. Dang it. There's no flash on here. What are you guys doing tonight? Oh my. Too perfect. Earthy, creamy, sweet. I mean, these are kind of typical, like what you think of, like stereotypical Cuban flavors. So I think that's what that. I think that's you know the color and the shape of the cap. I don't know. It could just be some, you know, Dominican cigar. I don't know. I don't know because it is a little on the mild side. Hmm. I think, I think, I think. Oh! Spent all day doing some landscaping. Needed a cigar, hoping to sneak one in tomorrow before work. Ash looks good sitting in line at Whataburger. Hey! Yeah, we... Um, Whataburger, like... That's like a thing, like in Texas, I think it started. We don't have it in Michigan. And I just moved here to Arizona. And it's like in and outs biggest competitor, I would say, between that and maybe Five Guys. But Whataburger is really good. I mean, it's like one burger is like six bucks, but it's huge. And, you know, I mean, it's, I don't know. In and outs very cheap. 
But Whataburger is like expensive, high quality burger. I don't know. It's probably twice as expensive. Is it, is it twice as good as In N Out? Probably not, but um, it certainly holds its own. That's for sure. I think Whataburger is probably cheaper than Five Guys, though. Yeah, exactly. Like, if I want something quick and cheap, and, <coughs> you know, I can. <coughs> it's so smoky. If I want something quick and cheap, I can, um, you know, five bucks, I'll be great at In N Out. But if I want, like, an experience, if I want to just. If I want to just be content for, like, the rest of the day, I go to Whataburger and I can spend, like, eight, nine, ten bucks, you know? Five Guys, same thing. Five Guys is great because Five Guys has, uh, they fry their, they fry the fries in peanut oil. And that, for me, that's just the best, um, French fry you can have is in peanut oil. Sucks if you have a peanut allergy, but it's really, it's perfect fry. Mm. Mm. Can I milk this thing forever? <laughs> oh yeah, dude, that's um, we we call that uh, New England style, and um, what I do is I mix the malt vinegar with the ketchup, and I call it super ketchup, and um, yeah, that's really good too. And if you get fries in and out, the biggest tip is to get it medium well, because um, otherwise I think they're kind of soggy. So get it like medium, medium well. And they're much better. Yeah, do that. So just put a ton of, I shouldn't do this motion, put a ton of uh, malt vinegar in there in the dipping ketchup thing. And then put the ketchup on top and mix it with the french fry. You got super ketchup, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got to take a picture of this. It's going to, this is going to be like the perfect ash, dude. Milk it. Like. Like I'm, like I'm a, like I'm milking the mother cow here. <laughs> it's kind of awkward, dude. I could, I, I could win a competition with this ash. I can tell. You know, you can just tell when it's gonna be a perfect ash. Yeah, I can tell. What's your guys' favorite? Oh, Culver's is pretty good, but you can get Culver's anywhere. Yeah, Poolside Cigar Reviews. That's uh, Kirk. Kirk is in Tucson. I, I've known him for a few years. I've never met him, but we always say, hey, let's do something. But I just, I don't go to Tucson much. I'm in Chicago, unfortunately, no in and out. But, uh, oh, you got it in Vegas? Yeah, animal fries are great. Yeah, Kirk is a is an awesome dude. He, um, you know, he's just like down to earth. I didn't know this. Like, I'm 6'3", 6'4"-ish. Uh, Kirk, I want to say is six foot seven or six foot eight. I mean, the guy is huge. No, six foot six, I think it is. The guy's huge. Um, so I, I'm assuming like he's probably one of the few people that I'll go, whoa, like if I ever meet him in person. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kirk is the guy I'd go to for scotch. You know, I don't know a lot about scotch. I normally just go to Costco and get whatever they got but um, if I wanted to more if I wanted to know more about scotch I'd go to Kurt had you had had you can tell he had a hard time fitting in frame yeah the guy I and mean, he you know when it, he, he got really buff I think he put on like 20 30 pounds of muscle and um, <laughs> so I'm talking about how big this guy is but um, I, I I just I had no idea I mean he's got to be like I don't know, he's probably got to be the biggest YouTuber <laughs> uh, cigar guy, physically. Yeah, um, but he's, I'd go to him for scotch. He really knows, he seems to have a well-rounded knowledge of scotch. Um, you know, I know very basics. Uh, see, that's what I was saying, I think he has a fitness channel, I think, I mean, he's really... You know, he underplays, I think, how in shape he is. You know, I, I kind of look up to him because I'm, I'm trying to get in shape. But I, you know, like I'll download like a, like a running app, use it like five times and be like, I'm in shape, you know. But he, he really, you know, does it right. I think he actually manages his weight. 
and uh, his muscle man. I mean, he does it all. I mean, I don't know. But a lot of there's a big misconception that if you have if you like cigars that you can't be in shape or that you're not healthy, and that's just not true. I mean, it's just a hobby. It's not like we're addicted to tobacco or anything. Um, you know, I brush my teeth, you know, and floss and mouthwash just like anyone else. So. Um, so I think that's a big misconception. When I tell people I review cigars, they kind of give me like that, really? Like, you? And it's kind of like, um, like it's kind of like dirty or like unhealthy. Like, that's the stereotype. And I know a lot of people who are really into fitness and cigars and health and wellness. Um, there used to be a guy named Kyle Cigar Reviews, um, Cigar Memoir, I think his channel is called. And now he's a, you know, he's a chiropractor. Um, and he's got like a health and wellness thing with his wife, I believe. So, I mean, yeah. You know, so I'm, I'm trying to be healthier. I just got, I just ordered. Hey, cool, nice. Hey, if I'm in the, if like I'm in the top three, like that's all I could ask for. I, I've been lifting weights, seriously, working out over eight years almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, like. Um, oh, I remember my, I think it was my dad, he was, you know, he's kind of worried about me and cigars, and, um, he's like, oh, I think you're losing some hair, because of your cigars, it reduces blood flow to your hair follicles, and I, I don't think that's true, I don't, I mean, maybe if I was a hardcore cigarette smoker, maybe, and I was inhaling the smoke, but, um, there's really no risk as far as, like, Hair law. I mean, maybe you, if you had like 20 cigars a day or, you know, I forgot what the FDA said. They, they had some study where if you smoked like 10 cigars a day for like 20 years, then that could present health problems. But I don't think so. I mean, I don't, I smoke one a week maybe. Yeah, I mean, hair loss is genetic and it's mostly from, uh an overabundance of testosterone, um, so I've been told. I don't know, but it's, I think it's like, it's gotta be like 95% genetic. I mean, cancer is genetic, you know, I, I have a couple of friends who work with oncologists, you know, and, and I ask them, I'm like, hey, what do you think about, uh, you know, like cancer and like how people get cancer, you know, and almost all of them tell me, you know, these people have been smoking cigarettes, like, chain smoking for like decades or it's genetic like they just get it like in their in their bones um you know i know people who like i think my stepmom she had uh, throat cancer or something like something like that and she's like the healthiest person i know i mean she's like a marathon runner triathlete triathlon you know i mean she can do just about anything you know so um really it's just i think a lot of it's just gen genetics um so anyway that, that's my rant check out this ash <laughs> it's getting better and better. Ooh. Oh my gosh. If I can get this if I can get this thing like halfway down, that would be you know, I'd be happy. <laughs> I want to take another <clears throat> take another photo. Man, I'm dry. I need to get some water out here. Let's see if this is a good photo. Yeah, Brian Glenn, he's probably got 75,000 subscribers. He's, yeah, I, very odd. My dad ran me, you know. Yeah, yeah, yep. Very strained. It's it's in the water, I tell ya. It's in the water. Yep, um, uh, you know. Some people, they don't know they have allergies, like uh, some people are lactose intolerant and all of a sudden they have like chest pains and, uh, you know, or heart disease, you know, I mean, a lot of that's just eating healthy too, you know. Um, interesting, people, people just die, I mean, that's just sad, you know. I had a cousin who just passed away, um, you know very healthy one year and then the next thing you know she goes to the doctor it wasn't feeling well 
They gave her like six months to live. I think she passed away in like nine months or like a year and a half. I forget, but just out of nowhere. She's like 35 or something, you know? Let me try this again. Yeah, so I'm not, I don't condone, I'm not advocating for cigar smoke. I'm just saying it's an enjoyable thing and it's not really what you think it is, you know? It's really not. It's, um, yeah. Oh? Exactly. I don't know why I'm saying it's going to Let's just try it. Anything can happen. Do you smoke gas station cigars? Like, okay, my first cigar, I was like 17, I think. My friend was turning 18, and um, he was like, let's celebrate, get cigars. And so he ran down to the local gas station. He got some cherry Swisher sweets, and we're in his basement playing poker, and we're just puffing away at these things like crazy. So that was the first one I ever had. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely more relaxing, and uh, I can decompress. Um, I can read a book when I'm out here. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's relaxing mentally, um, probably reduces, there's a lot of cortisol, uh, cortis, cortisone, Cor cortisol is a, is a hormone that your body produces when you're stressed and that makes you gain weight, that makes you like, kind of like depressed, it can cause other health issues if you have a lot of it and, um, so, you know, just decompressing and, and relaxing and, and resting, you know, these are things that reduce cortisol levels and, um, you know, maybe cigars is a way you could do that, you know. Um, so, funny fact, I actually, I got, um, I just, actually I had, uh, I got life insurance and, you know, if you, if you get life insurance, they check out your, your, your vitals, your blood, your urine, your height, your weight, you know, they do all of this and I told the lady, I'm like, look, I gotta be honest with you, I smoke cigars. And she's like, well, how many? I'm like, well, maybe like one a week, maybe? And she goes, well, it's gonna show up in your blood. And I said, okay, well, so be it. I mean, um, so she took my blood and um, I think it was like a week later, two weeks I got my results. There was no signs of any tobacco, nicotine, you know, in my system. And I, th I think nicotine metabolizes, they say, within like three to four days. So it didn't affect my life insurance or anything like that. Um, I was actually considered preferred. Uh, yeah, I don't really identify as a smoker. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, dang, I opened another one? Where, where do you live? Um, East Valley. I love Mellow Mushroom. Yep, so that's, I'm doing a lot more uh, pizza, pizza videos. Um, my next one, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Pizza Bianco. Everyone said, this is what everyone says. You got to go to Spinato's. You got to go to Federal Pizza in Phoenix. You got to go to Pizza Bianco. And you got to go to, um, there's one more. Oh, I'm forgetting. So anyway, I'm on this like pizza kick where I'm like, just reviewing a ton of them. Oh, that's just kind of fun. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> I need some water, man. I'm thirsty. Oh, oh man. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna just keep taking pictures. You'll see this on my Instagram. What do you guys think this thing is? I mean, I guess you can't taste it, but. Do you think it's a Cuban? I don't know. It looks kind of white in the ash. Uh, I think it's Cuban. I don't know. The light makes it look whiter. We'll find out. Yeah, so... I don't consider myself a smoker. Life insurance doesn't consider me a smoker. Barstool Spool... Barstool Sports on Facebook. El Presidente reviews Pizza Daily in New York. Highly recommend... Huh! Uh, El Prez reviews? Huh. Yeah, we have NYPD here. Um, it's not that good, though. I mean, it's not bad. Um, 
a lot of Chicago pizzerias are here now. Um, we've got uh, Luminati's, we've got uh, uh, Giordano's now, we've got, you know, all those major guys. El Prez, I'm going to go to El Prez, huh? That's in Phoenix? That's his name, okay. Okay, El Prez is his name. And he does, he makes the pizza. Is that right? Let's see. I'm gonna. Oh, he reviews it. Okay, so I'm gonna watch this guy's pizza reviews and see if I'm doing it right. Cause I, I don't know what I'm doing. I just go out there and eat pizza, and <laughs> it's kind of like it's like a it's like a vlog and a pizza review. So maybe I could be like, maybe I could be like Phoenix's vlogger. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I think the trick is to smoke slow so that way you don't that that ember doesn't burn the ash off there. So, I'm going to take another picture here. Alrighty guys, well, should I let you go and continue this review or do you guys have any more questions? As far as being in Chicago, Luminati's is my favorite. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Luminati's has got um, that like cornbread crust, I believe, or cornmeal. It's like a crust, crumbly, crispy, crispy texture. I think Giordano's is better, but I mean they're both good in different ways, you know. What is that cornmeal? I think it's a cornmeal. I don't know what it is, but it's crumbly, right? I think so. I think so. think so yeah yeah so people go to Luminati's for the crust that's what everyone tells me oh we go there for the crust um, yeah the only problem with Chicago pizza is it takes like 40 minutes to cook cornmeal is in little is the little yeah, yeah yeah you're right they put that in the bottom of the oven so that the pizza dough doesn't stick um, so yeah like the little crumbly things in the bottom yeah it gives it a nice crispy crust so, it's like a fine grit, because corn, I guess grits is basically like cornmeal, like a corn husk or something, I don't know. But, you're right, that's what cornmeal is. But I heard that they do something in the crust, or it makes it crumbly, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I got a huge ash. Hey bro, nice ash. <laughs> yeah. We're going to see if I can get it. Right around there, halfway point. I'm gonna, I'm sucking on it like a freak. <laughs> so stupid. Mama! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hashtag huge ash. Hashtag cigar. Hashtag Cigarians. Hashtag, I think, I work at a pizza place. We just put cornmeal on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the typical, you know, because it's kind of, you just keep it so it doesn't stick. Yeah, I don't know if it's inside the dough, but my wife says they do something different. Maybe it's corn starch. Maybe corn starch. I don't know. I just heard they have a crumbly, crispier crust, that's all. Honest cigar review. Oh, oh. If this thing falls on me, you guys will know. Yeah, exactly. It looks yellower. Yellower? I think. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, oh, I can't save your email. You gotta you know, email me. I got um, honestcigarreviews at gmail.com. Email me if you want to send me whatever stuff this was sent to me. And I'll give you a shout out. Um, whatever you want. Probably can do a collab. I'm trying to figure out how to screen record so I can like video chat with people. Um, so, yeah. Definitely email me because I, I can't save the com I don't well maybe I could save the comments. They might be in the comments below, I'm not sure. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
I'm thinking about like I'm gonna start. You guys, do you guys know Melanie from? Uh, well, she's on Instagram. She does. Uh, I think it's fifth and fifth and third. What is it called? I forget the cigar shop. It's on Fifth Street in downtown Scottsdale. Her and her husband own it, and we've been talking about doing like a tour. So I'm thinking maybe I'll start doing like tours of local places. Um, I still need to do one of Owl Ear. Um, they gave me a cigar, and I'm gonna do a review there. Yeah, 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 Melanie, yeah, yeah, FTB. Yeah, yeah, so I've been talking with her. She lives like, I think in Tempe or Scottsdale, or, but her, their shop is downtown Scottsdale. And um, they just started owning it, I think in like January or something. So I think it'd be kind of cool just to give her a shout out and, you know, uh, I have not had any Lovo cigars. They sound good though. Sound really good. Honest cigar reviews. Um, Lovo cigars. What? Who makes them? Do you know? Oh, special place in my heart. <laughs> what? Ooh, cigar vixen. She gives me all the fe all the good feelings. <laughs> Yeah, she's, um, I think she actually has a TV show now. Like, I think it's, like, a real show on, like, some network. Um, so she kind of just blew up. I mean, I, I don't really, I mean, there's only, like, a few cigar, you know, female cigar reviewers. So I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure she has, like, a professional show where she travels and smokes cigars. And so that's really cool. to die out on me <laughs> oh. oh it's kind of blurry we'll see it looks pretty darn perfect though I think this is like a Cohiba something maybe Cohiba maybe I mean how do you tell you really can't tell um, but I think it's a maybe a Cohiba maybe I don't know Maybe like a Monte Cristo, like number four, maybe. I don't know. I've only had maybe like six or seven Cubans. So, but I think this could be Cuban. I don't know. It's a pretty, pretty white ash, too. Keeps wanting to die on me. <laughs> yeah. Who else? Um... So yeah, so Pete for for Pete's sake have a cigar. He started a channel. He gave this to me. Check out his channel. Um, it's he's actually pretty, he's growing pretty fast. A sampler from Lovo event is from. Oh, what the heck? There's an event going on. Oh, you're in Goodyear. I'm in Goodyear. Um, well, actually, I'm in Avondale, but on the border of Goodyear. Yeah, yeah, it has that classic like flat cap and Cuban look um dude what the heck are you, there's a what is it called fine ash cigars is, I believe is here it is fried dude I might have to go I might have to check it out I'm in Austin at Bob Loop cigar pretty good I think you did a, yeah 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 I did a review on Bob Loop. um I think I have one more cigar to review from them but they have Bob Loop is really good they I mean, they're underrated, you know, as a boutique. Mm. Oh, I don't know. This might fall on me. Have you guys ever had an ash just fall on your face like an idiot? Yeah, yeah. So the Midwest was like, I'd be wearing like a coat right now. Um, or a jacket still in May. Here, I mean, I mean, you know, I, it's, I think it's like 70 degrees, 75 right now. I mean, I, I like, there's no wind and it, you know, it feels like, uh, uh, you know, I feel like I'm inside right now. So this is, but then, you know, in a month or so it'll get so hot. I'm not even going to want to be outside. I'm just going to, I'm going to, you know, find alternative way. I'm probably just going to go to shops more. That's probably what I'm going to do. It gets so hot in the nighttime, it's still like 100 degrees. 
and I'll be sweating like a pig out here, you know? So, I might have to go to that Lovo event. Oh, yeah? I guess they were a little windy. I mean, I, I didn't notice them too bad. I guess it depends where you live in the valley. I'm West Valley. I'm in, I'm in Avondale. But, I tell you what, there's some... Out of nowhere, it'll just have a big gust of wind, you know? Oh, in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always windy there. Uh-oh. I think it's going out. I think it's dying. I can blow out, but it's barely the the ash kind of suffocates the ember there. Dang it! Oh gosh, I gotta. I'm gonna take another picture of this thing. I mean, I swear I could go. I could go down farther here. Here, here, here. Where's my? Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I do that? I think I'm, I'm gonna try this. This might be kind of dumb. Don't wanna. Don't. <laughs> uh, right, I know it's such a challenge relighting a cigar with an ash on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy. Okay, so this is like this is danger territory here, because I could get an ash on my face. <laughs> uh, but it worked. It did work. The only problem is sometimes the flavors can kind of get a little sour. Um, if you relight with an ash on it, you know, sometimes you have to like purge the thing. But so far it's not too bad. Ooh. Okay, we're good. Let it cool down. Let it cool down. Don't tempt it. Look at there's a little crack. I think it's gonna crack right there. Oh no. Oh no. I think it's I think if I oh oh it cracked. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh 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 the Titanic. Oh no, it's so perfect. Look at it. Oh shoot. Oh that's how the the ash crumbles there. All right, well, you guys have a good night. I'm going to check out this Lobo event. Maybe I'll be there Friday. How cool would that be? Um, I want to get back to reviewing this stick here.